voodoo is a ritual performed by Muslims. Can you explain its significance? Uh, like I mentioned that in Islam, cleanliness is very important. And before you pray, you have to ensure that you wash yourself. Wash your hands, rinse your mouth, your nose, your face, your arms, and your head, and your feet. This is what is defined as wudu. Another name is ablution, to clean yourself before you pray. And this is a commandment. You cannot pray without washing yourself. And washing yourself, you are also washing all kinds of sins so that you will be very focused. Allah, He wants purity. That's why He dictates to us that before you do anything, you have to wash yourself before praying. There is another question. Take it. Yeah. What are the most important rules for Muslims in their minds when partaking in religious practice? Uh, what are the rules in the mind of a Muslim in partaking in any religious practice? Number one, you have to do to, things to please your Lord. In Islam, you don't do things just to show off. Whatever you're doing, even in prayer, in charity, you don't do to show off. You do things to please God. Because while pleasing God, you're looking to get rewarded. And when you get rewarded, when you die, you're looking the ultimate ambition is to have an eternal life that is full of happiness and that is genuine. But essentially, as a Muslim, whatever you do, the fundamentals is that you have to do for the sake of God. Imam Jalal to get married and have children. I'm married and I have two girls. So as Muslims, not only Imam, marriage, is a very essential thing. As soon as you hit maturity and you can afford it financially, Islam recommends greatly for you to get married. The Institute of Marriage is highly respected. That's why in Islam it is very important for abstinence. Sex outside marriage is a sin and marriage is encouraged so that you can procreate. Um, on behalf of my class and the uh, senior chair, I, I want to thank you for coming in to speak to your class for the project. Thank you.